Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Drone, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 BMW X7 xDrive 40 and xDrive 50, as well as learn about the all-new X7 along the way. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2019 BMW X7 is a mid-sized luxury SUV that competes with the Audi Q7, Mercedes-Benz GLS class, and Volvo XC90. The X7 is a new model for 2019 and is the largest of BMW's SUVs. It comes with an inline six-cylinder engine in the xDrive 40 model and a 4.4-liter V8 in the xDrive 50. Even the slowest 2019 X7 has a 0-60 to 60 mile time of 5.8 seconds. The X7 comes with standard seating for up to seven occupants across three rows of seats. The X7 also becomes the seventh member of BMW's SUV family and will be built in Spartanburg, South Carolina, alongside the X3, X4, X5, and X6. The X1 and the X2 are produced in Germany. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the all-new 2019 BMW X7 SAV. There was once upon a time I dreamed about having this vehicle and when would they make it? Now that it's here, I don't really care. All right, so let's drag this thing around. We can kind of get a, a virtual walk around of this, right? They're showing us the X-Drive 40 and they're showing us, we can look at the exterior colors. This exterior color is called Arctic Gray Metallic. This color here is called Vermont Bronze Metallic. Doesn't look like they have many colors. This one here is called Mineral White Metallic. And this one here is called Black Sapphire Metallic. And then lastly, there's an Alpine White. So they don't really have many colors for the all-new X7. So here they're giving us a little breakdown. We can see that the X7 X-Drive 50 with the 4.4 liter V8 makes 456 horsepower, and it does 0 to 60 in 5.2 seconds. The smaller one, the smaller entry-level X7, the X-Drive 40 with the, v, with the straight 6, making 335 horsepower, does a 0 to 60 in a very respectable 5.8 seconds. So sounds pretty stout to me. They've got this little Explore tab here. So I'm thinking let's click that and see where it takes us. Okay, so yeah, they're going to they're gonna give us a little breakdown here. They're letting us know the biggest BMW ever built, and they're giving us the breakdown of its power. So like I said, this can be redundant, but here it is. 335 horse for that X-Drive 40, 0 to 60 in 5.8 seconds. Here's something new. The starting MSRP for the X-Drive 40 is $73,900. If we click over here to the X-Drive 50, right, the power bumps up or jumps up to 456. And the 0 to 60 time goes down to 5.2 seconds. And now that starting MSRP for the X-Drive 50, right, the X7, starts at $92,600. Here's a nice shot of the front end of the uh, BMW X7. It's a good shot, good resolution on the photo. Okay, so look, check this out. They say next level, the unbeatable range of standard features and customizable options make the BMW X7 a statement piece, right? Yeah, that's what it is, a statement piece. And the first truly luxury, and the first luxury sports all activity vehicle. Now, they're telling us that it has an unbeatable range of standard features. We will find out. As you know or might not know, I build price and option hundreds of cars. So you should subscribe if you're into it. And so I'll let you know if they have an unbeatable range of standard features. I'll let, I'll let you know. Let's find out. Here's a nice shot of the interior. The interior does look pretty good. I don't know how I feel about the blue, but it looks good. Uh, everybody's kind of doing these things now where they're adding like some stitching in the seats. These look like pillows back here on the headrest. I'm sure they're detachable. Maybe, maybe not. Um, looks like Alcantara or suede. For the headliner that starts about halfway up and goes up, it's a very nice place. It's a very nice place. Does this exact interior is that available on the on the X Drive 40, or is this or is this stitching on the seats only available on the X Drive 50? Of course, we'll find that out as we go along. 
So below that photo, you know, they're letting us know, of course, seats for seven. That's going to be the big star of the show. This is what the X, X7 is all about, having comfortable space. The X5 did come with a third row, but it was cramped third row. So it says the standard seven seats are laid out in three rows, including a second row bench seat and an all-electric and all-electric power front seats. And then down here on the bottom left, it says the largest wheels available. Optional 22-inch wheels are available in your choice of styles. Because when you're driving the biggest BMW on the road, you want wheels to match. And then they're talking about the LED lights. Uh, oh, standard. See more of the road ahead with standard adaptive full LED lights and LED fog lights. Or go for the distinctive look with Icon adaptive LED headlights with laser light. And that's only available apparently on the X7 X-Drive 50, their top tier model. All right. Now. Over here, they're talking about, oh, their expansive roof. So they've got, oh, check it out. So they've got a they've got a three-panel panoramic roof, and then there's a, yeah, look, there's another panel back there for your third-row occupants. The three-panel panoramic moonroof is a standard feature unique to the BMW X7 and adds to the interior's feeling of spaciousness. And then advanced driving technology like park distance control and, and the suite of active driving assistant features are all included as standard on the first ever BMW X7. So, okay, so, so far, so good. They're throwing some good stuff at us. Yeah, let's keep going. Now, there is this link to see the standard set of features, and we will check that out here in just a little bit. I just want to stop and take a look at uh, get a good shot of the 2019 X7. It was worth stopping for. Before we check those specs and standard features and everything, we're going to get through the rest of this. So it says a, charisma a charismatic leader. There's no need to be subtle in the X7. From the Yeah, they're just letting you know that it's big. Got it. Uh, yeah, that's all they're really letting you know here. They're telling you about the signature kidney grill. They haven't really said anything. Just that it's big and it's new, right, and unprecedented, unconventional. Here they're telling you the spaciousness of the interior environment, and they're also letting you know that there's exceptional audio quality uh, available. You can get the Harman Kardon or a Bowers and Wilkins Diamond Surround Sound System. So that's not standard. Okay, we got through that page. We're back on the overview page. And as we're going forward here, we can see that they're not telling us a whole bunch of stuff. They're making it look all very Hollywoody and very beautiful. The website's very beautiful. And all they've had to tell us here is that there's a lot of space and they're seating for seven with a second row bench. And those the bench seats are standard or opt for the optional six-seater configuration with all electric captain's chairs. So they've given us a little they've given us a little information on how you can configure the inside, the interior of that X7. So you can do the second row bench, that's standard, or get the optional captain's chairs. Apparently, there's standard two-axle air suspension, which provides incredible driving comfort. The adjustable height allows for easier entry and loading. And one more system to go down. Here they're going to tell us about that interior, which I do think is nice. I don't necessarily like that color combo, but, but the interior is nice. They say there's no such thing as a second-class seat. The standard heated front seats can be made even more comfortable with, avail with available ventilated and massage options. Passengers can also enjoy optional heated rear seats. Now, is it heated second row or is it heated second and third row? They don't say one way or the other, do they? They don't clarify. Continuing on, they say, enjoy a curated collection of life-improving technology from standard safety features to the cutting-edge developments of the latest onboard driver assistance features. This website, is, is they've done a really good job of laying this out all beautifully, haven't they? At any rate, they say, safe and secure. The first ever BMW X7 includes advanced driving assistance technology like active protection Active Drive and Assist Professional, we don't know what these are. Active Blind Spot Detection, okay, that makes sense. And more as standard, let's find out. There's BMW Intelligent Personal Assistant. It says Command Vehicle Controls, Navigation and Entertainment on the latest BMW iDrive 7.0 system with BMW Intelligent Personal Assistant. Bring it to life with Hey BMW or choose a personalized name. Oh, nice, finally. 
Remote engine start. The first ever BMW X7 is always ready to roll with optional remote engine start. You can precondition your vehicle and start a legendary journey even before you open the doors. What if you're just going to the grocery store? Is that a legendary journey? Standard safety features. An extensive set of safety features includes daytime pedestrian protection, frontal collision warning with city collision mitigation, lane departure warning, active blind spot detection, and more. Lastly, they want to tell us about the parking assistance. With the optional parking assistance package, the first ever BMW X7 handles tricky parking for you, and the surround view camera provides a 3D, 360 degree view of all the area all around your vehicle. That's cool. Here they're going to keep telling us about the incredible interior. It says, settle into an atmosphere of elegance that exceeds every definition of excellence. And you can see that it's changing hues. Is, is that right? It says, a beautiful panoramic glass roof creates an open, spacious feeling and a dramatic effect when illuminated by the color-changing splendor of the optional panoramic sky lounge LED roof. Then there's the ultra-modern controls that do look pretty beautiful. Optional glass controls on the gear shifter, engine start button, and audio switches accentuate the standard haptic feedback buttons surrounding the iDrive controller. Ah, and then there's BMW Individual. Now, before I even say anything, I did a whole video just on BMW Individual, so I'm going to put a link up to that right now. For the X7, they say, enjoy comfort crafted to the highest standards, yours. Available BMW individual enhancements include the finest leathers, exclusive colors, and gorgeous interior trims. Surely that, that two-toned interior that they keep showing on this X7 is surely a BMW individual color combination, right? Uh, yeah, and so you can do that all to your uh, specifications. I like individual. It's very nice. Okay, so we went through the whole overview page. Let's go take a look at the gallery so we can get a good shot of some more exterior photos, get some more interior photos. Then let's go over to the specs page and see what the what the basic features are for the X-Drive 40. I'm sorry, the X7 X-Drive 40 and the X7 X-Drive 50. Once we see what those standard options are and standard features, then we'll go and do our building prices on both of those. Okay, let's go to the gallery. Okay, let's take a look at this gallery. BMW has really, really gone out of their way to make a really beautiful website. Look at all this. You know, they got multimedia plan. We've got 22 slides with this video imagery. It's gorgeous. What a great treat. All right, let's move on. All right, there we go. Now, we can see right below this, they're going to tell us a little snippet of information right below each one. This says the optional M Sport package upgrades the appearance of your BMW X7 with features like the aerodynamic kit. Then there is this shot here, optional icon adaptive LED lights with laser light make a striking impression on the BMW X7 X-Drive 50. So you can't get these lights with this little blue right here. Apparently you can't get that on the base model which is the X-Drive 40. In this shot here, they're telling us with its impressive stature and remarkable design, the X7 is ready to take action, right? Take Tackle any drive. Here's a nice little video clip again, right? Very nice shots. Beautiful wheels. The first ever BMW X7 is available with 22-inch wheels, the largest in the BMW catalog. Gorgeous set of wheels. I like that. Classic BMW design, like the Hofmeister Kink. I bet you don't know what that is, but I know what the Hofmeister kink is. can be found in every element of the X7. What is the Hofmeister kink? I will tell you. You see right here this design right back here in this corner, like this edge and this line. That is called the Hofmeister kink, and you will notice that on every BMW. Yes, I know, crazy. It's crazy they even mentioned it. Crazy cool that they even mentioned it. Anyway says, dress to impress with beautiful paint finishes like the gorgeous BMW Arctic Gray Metallic. I didn't think the paint finishes were that hot. Uh, the stunning profile never backs down from a challenge. It looks really cool, actually. It's nice looking, and it's got a short overhang. That's what I like about it. It's got a short overhang here. It's got a short overhang in the front, and that's nice. Here in this shot again, we've seen this photo like maybe twice already. At any rate, they're letting us know that it has that standard three-panel 
um, panoramic moonroof. And it is gorgeous. It is very nice. Uh, here's a nice uh, front end showing us that distinctive kidney, kidney grill. And it is very much distinctive and iconic. There's a nice woo, BMW individual. Do you see that in the glass controls? That looks gorgeous. Thank you, BMW, for making such a beautiful website to display your brand new X7. We have these movies to watch within a movie. I like that. Very, very, very nice. With its BMW individual leather upholstery and panoramic Sky Lounge LED roof, the first ever BMW X7 is a sight to behold. Yeah, yeah, it is. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Very nice. Look at that. Look at that. Standard. Standard live cockpit professional includes BMW navigation and a redesigned instrument display. What is this camera looking at my face, though? I don't know if I like that. What is that all about? What's that there and why? What is that supposed to be there for? That I want to know about. Uh, what's up next? Uh, right. The available panoramic sky lounge LED. Yep. Some of these are going to be redundant. We know, but they're worth looking at because they're gorgeous. Now, there we go. Now, that looks better than that two-tone deal. It says, create your own interior expression with exclusive upholstery options like BMW Individual Tar... What is that called? Tartufu Extended Merino Leather. Very pretty. Wow. Yeah. Luxury to spare. Enjoy fine finishing touches like available glass controls and the Bauer & Wilkins Diamond Surround Sound System. Beautiful. Beautiful. LED lighting abound. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah. Look at the utility on that bad boy. A standard power split tailgate opens to reveal expansive cargo space controls for the adjustable loading height. I like it. I like it a lot. Check this out. The optional rear seat entertainment professional system keeps passengers pacified. <laughs> nice choice of words. Pacified on long drives. The standard 12.3-inch touchscreen of the central information display provides easy access to the latest BMW iDrive 7.0 operating system. Look how chunky that steering wheel is. You know, I'm not so much into the German cars as much as I used to be. I still like Beamers. I still like Mercs. I still like them all. This one's nice. You know, I, this one's nice. It is very, very nice. I'm impressed. It looks very good. The execution is well done. Boom. All right. Choose your seating arrangements. A standard seven seat configuration with second row bench seat or the optional six seat setup with an all electric captain's chair as shown. Very, very nice. Big O side window shade. Be nice if they threw a side window shade or something came up back here. But, you know, if you do the window tinting package that the, most SUVs always have, these back windows are going to be tinted out anyway because the dealers normally do that for you. The standard wireless charging tray keeps your smartphone at full power and ready to use with the standard onboard Wi-Fi hotspot. And lastly here, an optional 1,500-watt Bauer & Wilkins Diamond Surround Sound System fills your X7 with crystal clear audio from 20 speakers. Yeah, 20 speakers, my friend. Okay, so we're over here on this pricing and features page, and this is where we can find out what the standard features are and all that there. Right here, they're showing us the X-Drive 40. That's the base model. Here's those basic colors, Alpine white, Arctic gray, uh, Vermont bronze metallic, mineral white, and then you've got that black sapphire. Right down here, they're breaking down what the cost is. That MSRP, we know, $73,900 for the X7 X-Drive 40. That comes with a 3-liter twin-power turbo inline 6-cylinder X-Drive intelligent all-wheel drive. What else is there to learn about this particular model, the base model? So we're going to quickly check out some standard features. We're going to quickly check out some standard features. We can see that there are several categories here. There's drive. There's appearance, there's technology, and there's protection. Protection is just like the warranty information, safety, and security. So what we're going to do is I'm not going to look at every one of these. We're not going to look at every one of them because I just want to get the highlights on things like, you know, what kind of tech comes on these. Let's find out specs on the engine, things like that, okay? So let's jump into that real fast. So 
under performance and efficiency, we can see that it's got that 3 liter engine. It makes 335 horsepower, right? It's got an auto stop start function. It's got a trailer hitch pre wiring. There's emergency brake regeneration. I'm not going to read all of these. If you want to make sure you read them all, just pause the video. Finally, I was going to say it's got an eight speed sport automatic transmission with sport and manual shift modes and steering wheel mounted paddle shifters and even launch control. Oh, and speaking of that, it's got driving dynamics control. So that means it's got a, you can select different drive modes, Eco Pro, Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus. Most Beamers come with that. So for under appearance, what I'm really most concerned about is what's up on the interior. What's up with the interior? So we can see that that $73,000, almost $74,000 BMW comes with not leather interior. Sensatec upholstery. That's like their faux leather interior. So you get the third way, you get the third row seating, right? Fine line uh, wood trim. You get the fake leather interior, and you get 16 way power front seats, right? That's what I really wanted to find out as far as the specs and features. What doesn't it come with? For the audio system, the standard audio system looks to be a 10 speaker, 205 watt system. And in my experience, the standard BMW stereos are pretty nice, actually. Now, this is a much bigger vehicle volume wise, but 10 speakers probably covers it. It comes with the Sirius XM satellite radio with a one year subscription. Yeah, nothing, nothing amazing there. Nothing amazing there. Okay, under instrumentations and controls, right, we've got Apple CarPlay with a one year trial subscription. I don't even get that. I don't even get that. Yesterday, I did a build-in price of a Chevy Spark that has an MSRP that starts at under $14,000. Yeah, $14,000. And it comes standard with Apple CarPlay and um, Android Auto. And it's not a one-year trial subscription. They just give it to you. I don't understand why these really expensive cars have a one-year trial thing. I don't get that. At any rate, there's a connected package professional that, this v that the standard that the xDrive 40 comes with. And there's outside temperature display, there's dynamic cruise control, there's a tire pressure monitor, a rear view camera, there's speed limit info, there's that live cockpit professional, which we already learned about, and that even comes with 20 gigabytes of music storage. That's pretty cool. What else? Under comfort and convenience, right? Like I said, I'm not going to uh, read every one of them, but I see power tailgate. It's got automatic four zone climate control. So that means front the driver... The passenger, the second row, and the third row, they all have their own uh, controls. How cool is that? There's a rear window wiper with the washer, right? There's advanced vehicle and key memory. There's the panoramic moonroof, as we know. Uh, there's remote software updates that are available. What else is there? There's park distance control, fold-up rear seat center armrest, privacy glass, three-stage heated front seats. You got the universal garage door opener. Wi-Fi hotspot, locking glove box, wireless charging, that's standard. Good deal, good deal. All right, so far, not so bad. Real quick, I want to check safety and security. They don't have anything that's really jumping out that's like, oh, wow, they're really throwing a whole bunch at you. They got the programmable LED daytime running lights, central locking system, adaptive braking lights, impact sensors, things like that. Your warranty information is going to be pretty basic standard, four-year, 50,000 mile. Uh, your new vehicle limited warranty. Uh, you got a four-year unlimited mileage roadside assistance. And you got 12-year unlimited mileage rust perforation. Okay, just to check some other quick specs real fast. We can see that this engine on the X-Drive 40, yeah, it makes 335 horse, but it makes 330 uh, pound-feet of torque from 1,500 RPMs to 5,200 RPMs. That means it's going to be good, okay? You want that torque to be down low and real broad in your RPM range, and it is. Here's some quick specs. This vehicle is 203.3 inches long. It's 78.7 inches wide. And it is 71.1 inches tall. Curb weight with automatic transmission is 5,370 pounds. And its payload is 1,202 pounds. Headroom, 41.9 inches. Your leg room in the front, 39.8. And in the rear, it's 37.6. Your shoulder room in the front is a very generous 60 inches, and in the rear, it's 58.1, which is really generous. Your cargo capacity 
It ranges from 48.6 cubic feet all the way up to 90.4 cubic feet, I'm sure, with all the with the second and third row seats folded down. Okay, let's take a quick look at the XDrive 50 real fast. It looks like it has the same colors. It's got a starting MSRP of $92,600. It gets the 4.4 liter uh, V8 and also still has all-wheel drive. Looking at its performance and efficiency, yeah, it looks to have about the same stuff that the X-Drive 40 has, with the exception of the engine. Obviously, the engine is different. Taking a look at handling, ride, and braking, this vehicle has that, right, as we know, two-axle self-leveling air suspension. It's got power steering assist, right? It always, of course, it has all-wheel drive. It's got a multi-link rear suspension, and it even has hill descent control. This is the X-Drive 50 now that we're looking at. Now on the interior for the X-Drive 50, now we have uh, leather upholstery now. Now we have leather upholstery. We have 20-way seats instead of 16-way seats and a fully finished cargo area with velour carpeting and remote trunk release. Looks like the X7 X-Drive 50 gets a much better stereo. It gets the Harman Kardon surround sound speak, uh, system with a 464 watts, and it's got 16 speakers. So it's got six more speakers than the base uh, system that came on the X-Drive 40. Under instrumentation and controls, looks to be the same setup as the X-Drive 40, I believe. Yeah, I think so. I think so, yeah. Under comfort and convenience, yeah, it looks to be about the same setup. Yeah, I see the automatic four zone, the power tailgate. The dual cup holders, privacy glass, universal garage door opener, three-stage heated seats, Wi-Fi hotspot. Well, it's a three-month trial anyway. You got the wireless charging, all that there. Yeah, that all looks to be the same. And it looks to all be the same for the safety and security. So looks like what you probably really got was obviously that engine, and you got leather interior, and they probably threw and you know they threw a couple more things in there, but that was your probably big cost difference between your X-Drive 40 and your X-Drive 50. All right, let's move on. The specifications for the X-Drive 50, yeah, we know it makes 456 horse, but it makes 479 pound-feet of torque. And it does that from 1,500 RPMs all the way up to 4,750. That's real good. And, yeah, it's got that 8-speed uh, automatic transmission with sport and manual shift modes. It's got a 0 to 60 time, we know, 5.2 seconds. It's got a fuel tank capacity of 21.9 gallons. And it's got a towing capacity of 7,500 pounds, so it can tow. And yeah, curb weight goes up a little bit to 5,617 pounds. Let's jump over to our build-in price. We're ready. Let's go build-in price to X-Drive 40, and then we'll go build-in price to X-Drive 50. All right, let's go. Okay, let's do this. Here's the X-Drive, sorry, X-Drive, X7, X-Drive 40. That all runs together after a while. We know 0 to 65.8, MSRP, 73 nine and let's build it so where is that going to take us first that's going to take us here to this page where we choose do we want a luxury version of our x drive 40 or do we want a sport version if we choose the luxury version it says chrome design accents create an era of sophistication and style these elegant flourishes uh enhance the precise lines and sculpted surfaces of your bmw or you can go sporty spice with it and maximize your vehicle's athletic pedigree with aggressive features inspired by BMW M cars. This bold look projects a muscular aesthetic that feels at home on any road. I prefer M Sport. That's just me. So automatically, we've already gone up almost five grand here to apply the M Sport package. Let's apply that. Okay, so now we've got the M Sport package. We're sitting at 78,440. What colors are we going to do? I'm not crazy about any of the colors, to be honest with you. Uh, and so that said, I don't want to do the mineral white. Uh, I don't. That said, let's just go with the Arctic Gray. Out of all the colors, the Arctic Gray works for me. Let's do the Arctic Gray. Let's move on to wheels. Ooh, got a lot of wheel selection, though. Got a lot of wheel selection. So let's get a different angle. All right, what are these wheels? 21-spoke wheels. Now, in order to make this, you'll have to, oh, wow, you got to remove the M Sport package to have those sporty-looking wheels? No, no thanks. I just want to take a look at them. Uh, what about these? All right. Uh, yeah, no. So it looks like for a lot of these, you got to remove um, 
the packages. I, I just noticed that each some of these have little uh, exclamation points underneath them. And so those must be ones that require a different package. So I bet you if I click these, yep, boom. That's an option that we can do without changing a pack, without upgrading or removing our M-Sport package. And these wheels are quite nice. Those are the 22-inch V-spoke bicolor black wheel style 755M with run-flat tires. That's a $1,300 upgrade. Or, or we can do these 22s. Those are nice, too. Those are called Orbit Gray. So let's see. Let's see. Do we want these or those or these standard 21s? I think I like these, the 22-inch style 758i. I like that. 758i, it is. So there's our wheel option, and it's cost us an extra 1300 bucks to do that. Okay, moving on to upholstery. Moving on to upholstery, all right. What do we have here? We've got this black leather with brown contrasting stitching. No. How about all black? This is the black, uh, I can't pronounce that word, leather. It's the same leather that comes in the X-Dry 50. And then what's this leather? This is the black extended merino leather. I want the black extended merino leather. I'm going to keep it simple. And to do that, we have to add multi-contour seats for $750. i am willing to do that. All right. Oh, and there's the stitching. Boom. So I guess when you get the extended merino leather, that's when you get the stitching in the seats. That costs us $1,000 plus $750 for uh, the other package. Let's move on to trims. Trim just means wood. What wood do you want in here? That comes standard with this fine line stripe brown, or you can get this anthracite brown. I don't really care for any of them. To be honest with you, none of them really look good to me. Uh, I'm just going to be honest. And so that said, give me the fine line black wood trim. Just let me do that. It's a no cost option. We're sitting at 81490 And let's move on to packages now. Okay. There's a lot of packages. There's a cold weather package. And this cold weather package does what? Heated front seats, armrests and steering wheel, front and rear heated seats, and a five zone automatic climate control. Right? I like that for $1,200. There's a dynamic handling package for $3,850. That gives us M-Sport brakes, active comfort drive with road preview. I don't even know what that is. It's the active comfort drive. Electromechanically operated stabilization system allows your vehicle to handle corners with comfort and precision. Road preview uses a forward-facing camera mounted behind the rear view uh, mirror to read the road surface. Da -da 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 -da. Eh, we'll see about that package. It's $3,850. Then there's the driver assistance professional package. And what's all included in here? Oh, active. Uh, so it's got a lot of features that we want. It's got a lot of safety features that we want. So mm, we're going to go ahead and grab that as long as it's not a conflict. As long as it's not a conflict, we'll grab it. The luxury seating package, multi-contour seats, front ventilated seats, front massaging seats. I'm not really into that. I'm not really worried about that. Off-road package, what's that all about? The off-road package does what? Doesn't even give us any details. They give us different modes. Sand, rock, gravel, snow. I don't think we need that. Parking assistance package. We probably will take that. Parking assistance plus and a surround view camera. 700 bucks. we're in. And then finally, there's a premium package that gives us what? Oh, heads-up display. I'm already in. Remote engine start. Soft closed doors. Uh, side window, uh, rear electric side window shades. Yeah, all the goodies for three grand. This is where they are. I want that premium package. Let's move on to options and see what options there are for the X7 X Drive 40. All right, over here on options. Um, hmm, leather dashboard sounds nice, but I'll pass. Those glass controls were nice for 650. Let's actually just click this and we can actually look at all of them. So the glass controls, multi-contour seats we have. We had to get those uh, with a package. Uh, glass controls, I like the glass controls. The leather dashboard, not at this price point. I don't want the leather dashboard. Let's go back the other way. Uh, panoramic sunroof, sky lounge, yeah, let's add that. And display key, I think that looks really nice. That's really nice. It says a touch control panel provides several additional functions beyond those of a standard BMW remote. Activate your interior ventilation at a predetermined time. Check the time, fuel level, estimated fuel rate. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. 
I want that for 300 and I don't need a trailer hitch because I'm not towing anything with my really expensive BMW. All right, let's move on. I like these little M Sport brakes for 652 So we're going to go ahead and do those as an option. And then down here, they got some safety stuff. They got a space saver spare, and they have integral active steering. We're not going to do it, but let's read about it real fast. It says integral active steering maximizes agility at low speeds and maximizes stability at high speeds. That, I think it means four-wheel steering. Right? I think that what is what it means. Yeah, it's got four-wheel steering, and I'm not really a fan of that. I'm not really a fan of four-wheel steering. I haven't embraced that. Don't plan on embracing it anytime soon. Okay, so here we are at the summary. Right, This one's the 2019 BMW X7 xDrive 40. I'm going to go ahead and print off this build summary. So if you like the way that I've built and priced and specced the xDrive 40, you can download this, this build summary in the description. Now, we're going to jump ahead and do the same thing for the xDrive 50. But let me print this off real fast. Okay, we got the whole xDrive 40. That one's done. That one's done. I've got, I have downloaded the, uh, the build summary, all that. You can grab that in the description. Now, we're over here, X7, xDrive 50, right? All-wheel drive, 21 miles to the gallon. That's surely mixed fuel economy. Starts at $92,600. Let's go. We're going to do this one with an M Sport as well. I like M Sport, so we're going to go there. Uh, I'm not crazy about any of these colors. So, again, I'm going to stick with the Arctic Gray. I think it looks attractive anyway. I don't think we're taking a side step on that. I don't want to do any custom packages. I really don't. I'm going to, I want to keep it simple. And so I'm going to just go with those same wheels. I like those wheels. I liked them before. I didn't choose those wheels just because I liked them. So we're going to stick with those wheels. Those were the uh, style 758i wheels with run flat tires, $1,300 option. Now we're over here on the upholstery. Looks like this one gets a little bit different. I still like, I'm still a fan of all black leather, so I'm just going to stick with, keep it simple. Do the black extended merino leather. It's a thousand dollar option. And let's go over here to trims. Again, I wasn't crazy about any of them. We already know which one I like. I like the black wood trim. Let's move over to packages. Obviously, we can do this one a little bit faster. I like the cold weather package. Wow, the dynamic handling package got a lot more expensive. Now, what was that? That was the M Sport brakes, M Sport differential. You know what? On this one, I'm going to go a little more loaded on on this one. The luxury seating package, I'm still, I still don't want that. I'm not, I'm not so concerned about the the luxury seating package. I don't need the front ventilated seats or any of that. I'm not into that. I don't need the off road package and the premium package with the soft closed doors. Right, the the heads up display is already bundled in that because we don't see it down here. It's half the cost. We're going to go ahead and throw that in. Let's move on to options. What do we have for options? Well, let's look at all of them. We're not aluminum running boards. Yeah, let's do those aluminum running boards. Ooh, but not, but not at the cost of removing the M-Sport package. All right, let's do the display key. I did like the display key. Uh, I do like the panoramic sky lounge roof. We like the glass control. Well, let's keep on moving this forward. Thank you. Let's do the glass controls. I do like the leather dashboard. And I want to have the second row captain's chairs for this one. All right. So there it is. What else is there to be gotten? Uh, let's do that Bauer and Wilkins high-end sound system. 20 speakers, 1,500 watts, 10 fully active amplification channels. It's the bee's knees, kid. It's the bee's knees. All right. So there's all that. Let's go to summary. Wow, we racked it up. $112,000. 2019 BMW X7 xDrive 50. It's all the money, honey. All the money. All right, I'm going to go ahead and download this build summary as well. And, well, you can also get that in the description below. Now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up of the 2019 BMW X7 SAV and all its configurations in this review. If you've made it to the end, you're awesome. You rock. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, you have a wonderful day, and I will see you.